Okay, for this part of the project, I'm going to ask you to edit in PowerPoint. There may be a way that you can do this um, on the online version of the PowerPoint. However, I don't know how it is, and since I'm showing you how to do this, we're going to download this and edit this in PowerPoint. Now that you have your PowerPoint downloaded, now I'm going to ask you to go through each slide and rename it. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to get this handout and I want you to title all of your slides. So, so far we've already worked on about four or five of your slides, but now I want every single one to have a title. This will help us as we start our hyperlinks. So, um, the first slide is your title slide, which we've worked on. The second slide, you, it's titled Home Slide. We'll change that in a minute. The next slide is your, um, the, actually the name of your NPO with your pictures. The next slide is your um, what the organization actually does with a catchy little title. We talked about that. The next slide is going to be um, the slide where it talks about how people can help. The next slide, I want you to call it World Issue. We'll change that later. The next slide, you're going to call it Population and Sample. The next slide, Skewed Left with Six Peaks. Or you, you can write that. It, it might change later. Just write this so that we'll know what we're doing. The next slide is outliers, the next one is bar graph, the next world is work connections, um, the next slide is future questions, and the final slide is your work slided. So we're going to um, uh, go ahead and make all of those slides. That way when we hyperlink them we'll have places to go. So now that you have that, then we can start the process of hyperlinking. Your second slide, you have the home home slide. What we're going to do here is we're going to insert a um, going to insert smart art graphic. All right, and on this smart art graphic, we're going to come over here to cycle and we're going to choose this one here. All right? This is really cool. Well, first of all, before I do that, I'm going to take out this home slide. And I'm going to take that out. Okay, we put that in as a placeholder. Now I can take this and I can make it bigger. Because I want it to be big. There we go. All right, so in the center of this radial thing, you're going to put the name of your um, organization, which I'm going to call mine the American Red Cross. Okay? Then I can click over here, and there's a title, and here I can put the different elements that I want here. The first slide that you have in your PowerPoint is the slide that introduces your NPO. So we're just going to put my NPO. We don't really need to put the name of your NPO because it's in the center. Then the next slide that is in your presentation is a slide that tells what they do. So we're going to say what it does. You can adapt this to fit you more um, if you want to change this. Then the next slide that we're going to have is going to be the um, slide about how you can help. That's your next slide. And then um, the next slide that we're going to take you to is um, my real world question. And then we're going to hit a return, and it's going to give us another circle. And we're going to call this one um, Real World Connections. And finally, our last one that we're going to put in is we're going to put in Citations. Okay. So now we have, oops, I don't want another one. Let's delete that. You see, when you delete it, it goes away. Then we can close it. So now we have a nice little base for our um, nonlinear PowerPoint. So what we're going to do next is we are going to go out and we're going to find some clip art that corresponds with our NPO. Okay, so I found myself a piece of clip art, and I'm going to insert my clip art into this slide. So I'm going to in insert photo from file go to my desktop where I put it there it is right there I'm going to insert it and I'm going to make it small okay alright 
So now that I have that there, I am going to insert a hyperlink. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on that, you're going to go to insert, you're going to go to hyperlink. Now yours is going to look a little bit different than mine because I'm doing mine on a Mac. You're going to have the hyperlink button up at the top, you click on it, yours is going to be much easier, easier than mine because on the, on the left side as you go down, it's going to say place in this document. Mine being on a Mac is a little bit more convoluted. I have to go here to document and then I have to go to locate and then it comes up with this. So I want to hyperlink this slide back to my slide with the um, round circles that I did. So that's the second slide. So what you do right here, it says slide titles. You go right here and you see where it says slide two. So here is the title of the, the title slide. Now I'll go to slide two and so I'm hyperlinking this back to um, slide two. So I say okay. So now I always when I do this I like to practice and make sure it's doing it. So I'm going to go to um, the slideshow. I'm going to click on that and look it goes back. Okay. So that's good. Now um, I, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to copy this hyper, this I'm going to copy this thing that I already put a hyperlink in. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my next slide and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to go to my next slide and I'm going to paste it. I can go down to my final slide down here, my citation slide. I can paste it so that we can always go back. I can go here to my um, my world connection slide and I can paste it. So these these should all take me back. And again, like I say, I like to play with it. So let's see if it really works. Yeah, it does. It really works. Okay, awesome. So now we have hi hyperlinks on those slides. Now we're going to do um, another another um, set of hyperlinks. We're going to do it here on this world issue slide. So I want to put that hyperlink here. I'm going to put that one there. Oops, I think I just put two. Get rid of one. There we go. Okay, so there is the hyperlink. So the world issue will take you also back to this slide. Um, now, what I'm going to do on this world issue slide is I'm going to create another um, I'm going to put another um, hyperlink thing. So let's say um, we're going to insert and how to smart graphic. And then we're going to pick cycle, cycle again. I like this one. You can change it. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to do this one. And you're going to say, and then here you're going to write your question, whatever your question was. So you can put your question there. You can click out here because it's so much easier here. So you could actually type. It has more room to type. And then um, here, the first one, you're going to type in population and sample. This one, you're going to type in um, skewed. That might change later, however you're going to do it. The next one, you're going to write outliers. The next one's going to be bar graph. You can put world connections here. And you could put future um, future questions. Okay, so that's all we're going to do. We'll have these, and I'm going to make it bigger because it's kind of small. And you notice I have my little hyperlink, which will take me back to the other screen. All right, so now I have that nice and big. So now I'm going to come to these. And I think I will put a different picture here. So let's go up here and let me find me a new picture. Okay, so now I'm going to take that, my new picture, I'm going to insert. From file, go to my desktop, where I put the picture, I insert it, and I put it down here. Now, this one is going to be hyperlinked back to the um, question slide so that um, we can keep going back and forth to the question. So here we go. We're going to do um, insert hyperlink and we're going to go to document and we're going to go to locate and we're going to go to slide and we're going to, that one is going to go to, there it is, it's slide six. So we'll say slide six. So we say okay. And then we say OK. So now that hyperlink keeps taking me back to slide six. So I'm going to copy that 
and I'm going to go ahead and paste it on the rest of my slides down here. Not on top of that. There it is. And I go, I'm going to put it over here this time because it's kind of covering up my bathroom. I'm making it smaller so it doesn't distract. And it's still too big. Put it over here so it doesn't distract. There's my future question. And my works cited. My works cited is going back to the beginning. It doesn't, you don't really need it back to the math slides. So, like I told you before, I always like to check. So, let's make sure that when I do it, it takes me where I want to go. Yes. Okay. So that's good. So now I have all my hyperlinks there. Now I want to hyperlink these, and that's why it's so important to have your titles labeled. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to Insert, Hyperlink, and same, same routine. I'm going to locate it, and I'm going to go to, I want to go to Population Sample. Say OK. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to hyperlink that one. Insert hyperlink. Okay, this was skewed. I'm sending that to skewed. Then I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to insert hyperlink. And you kind of get the idea. This one's outlier, so you're going to um, hyperlink that one to the outliers. And you do that with all of them. So where is outliers? There it is. Okay. So you kind of get the idea here. So again, what am I going to do? I'm going to look at this. You see this? If you see that sample is a different color, that's bad. This did not work, so I need to go redo it. You don't want to click on the words. You want to make sure you click on the entire bubble. Okay, we're going to um, hyperlink this one, and we're going to go in locate. Um, that was population sample. Okay. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have showed you what happens if, look. Okay, see how I highlighted the words there? Now when I insert hyperlink and again where am I going? Future questions. I'm gonna hyper I'm gonna locate future questions. Okay. Um, say okay. So now let's see what happens when I play it back. Okay, now I'm gonna click on here and there's no hyperlink. It goes to population sample. That's not good. But if I clicked on where it says questions, it would take me to future questions. So you need to be careful that you're not hyperlinking the words. You're hyperlinking the whole button. So watch this. You see that takes me there. Then I go back. Skewed takes me there. I go back. Outliers takes me there. I go back. Okay, so you get the idea um, of how to put the hyperlinks in. So what you need to do now, I kind of skipped ahead here. What you need to do here is you need to go back here. You need to do the same thing. So I'm not going to click on the words. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to insert. I don't want you. Go away. I'm going to insert a hyperlink. And in the document, I'm going to go to um, this. And I'm going to go to about the Red Cross. Okay, I say okay. Then go here. What does it do? Hyperlink to locate. Well, outreach services provided. Okay, okay. To this one, hyperlink it to um, how can I help? Hyperlink, locate, volunteer opportunities. Okay, okay. This one is real world question. That's going to be slide six. Hyperlink slide six. Okay, okay. Real world connections. I like this one. So this one, this one's going to be weird because 
probably shouldn't be hyperlinked, but I want to anyway. So here we go. Hyperlink and locate and world connections. Okay. Okay. And let's connect my citations. Hyperlink and let's go to locate. Let's go here and let's go all the way to the bottom. Say so, okay. All right. So now, like I said before, I always like to play it to make sure it works. I go here, go back, go here, go back, go here, go back, go here. There's my real, real world connections. That's really your question where you're writing your question. It's going to take me back. Real world connections. Okay. And then here, citations and go back. All right. And so then, um, we're back at this slide. So basically that's how we do hyperlinks. What I expect you to do today is I expect for you to um, go ahead and get all slides labeled and start doing your hyperlinks. Have a great day. Bye.